Hello and welcome to this quick tip from BlenderCookie.com. My name is Jonathan Williamson and today I'm going to show you a very cool technique that's very handy for those of us that are modelers in particular, but really anyone that wants to show off a model or an animation using a 360 degree turntable. This is something that's very, very common in the industry and it's widely accepted and a great way to show off your model from all different angles in a short span of time. Now, the technique I'm going to show you today is strictly the simple, basic, boring camera movement of 360 degrees around your model. You know, if you really wanted to take it to the next notch, then you would go ahead, excuse me, you would go ahead and go to the next level, do some fancy camera work, whatever it may be that really pushes your model and displays it very nicely. But today, I'm going to show you one of two ways to do this. The first way is to go ahead and use a, or parent your camera to a Bezier circle that then follows the path. This is very common, it's the way it's traditionally been done, but the problem with this is that it doesn't give you a lot of freedom with your camera simply because it's basically not locked to the path, but constrained by the path. The way that we're going to do it today is by using an empty and parent the camera to the empty, and rather than animating the camera, we're actually just going to animate the empty. And so at this point, then we could go ahead and move the empty around, we could uh, track the camera elsewhere, whatever we want to do, but this will give us a basic 360 degree camera movement. So the way that we're going to do this, using this example model that I have here, which was one that was originally done for the Durian project. Uh, I don't believe it was ever actually used in Sintel, but you should be able to find it on the disc. It's named uh, the Ishtarian Woman 01, I believe. And we're just going to go ahead and hit Shift C to make sur sure that our cursor is centered at the origin. Then I'm going to hit Shift A, add in an empty. And now let's go ahead and select the camera shift right click to select the empty and hit control P and set parent to the object. So now our camera should be parented to the empty. And if we were to grab the empty now and rotate this around, our camera is going to follow with it. So this is perfect. So what we want to do now is let's just assume that our animation is going to be 100 frames long. So I'm going to set this to 100. Notice that we're playing back at 25 frames per second. And while on frame one, let's just go ahead and hit I and insert a rotation keyframe. You'll notice that underneath the transform panel in our properties panel that the, uh, the rotation fields have now turned yellow to indicate that there's a keyframe on that field. Well, let's just go ahead and jump to the end. And what we want to do is rotate our empty 360 degrees. Well, if we were to just hit R, Z and type in 360, then hit I and insert a rotation keyframe, you'll notice that here it still says zero. And in fact, if we play back our animation by hitting shift left arrow and then hitting alt A, nothing happens. And this is because for as, as far as Blender's concerned, your empty hasn't rotated at all because it just did, it just came full circle. So what we want to do instead is control click on this field, type in 360 and then hit I and insert a rotation keyframe. So now if we play this back, you can see our camera spinning very nicely or technically the empty spinning and the camera's following it. So this works great. However, you'll notice a, a problem. If we wanted to have this repeating, uh, you know, maybe the first pass is showing the whole model, second pass shows the wireframe, third pass maybe shows the low poly model, whatever it may be, however you're breaking things up, we're gonna have some problems because it starts out slow, speeds up, and then slows down again. And this is because of the nature of the default uh, animation curves in Blender. If we split our view here and switch this over to the graph editor, you'll notice that our blue line here, if we hit control and middle click and drag down, the blue line indicates our, uh, the rotation of our empty. This is around, around the Z axis. And you notice that we've got this nice slope on it. Well, this is great for some things, but in this case, it's not what we want. So to fix this, we can simply hit shift E or excuse me, shift T, change the keyframe interpolation type to linear. And now we just have a straight shot between them and you know no slowdown, no speed up, just a straight steady speed that then we could play back this clip multiple times any way that we wanted and be good to go. So there you have it. Very easy way to create a basic turntable animation. And what I'll do is I'm going to render this out, pause the recording, and then show you the, the final turntable. And here we are. You can see the final rendered animation of the turntable. Very simple, short, but very, very effective.